Hey, it's Jeremy here. I'm gonna be showing you how to create this neon type in Illustrator. You can see here it's got a few effects and it's not too difficult to make. See, as I zoom in there, you got some nice effects and creates this nice, you know, retro feel. So I'm gonna show you how to create this. And first up, you can see I've built some color palettes here. You can go on Color Hunt to, you know, get some nice neon colors. You can see I've got some bright reds, um, some bright blues and oranges that we can use, but I only use, end up using um, the red and a bit of yellow there. So first up, we're gonna create the background and we're gonna press M for the rectangle tool, as you can see on the left here. And I'm just gonna drag this out, drag a box, and I'm going to click on one of my purple colors and I'm just gonna shift X to switch the stroke to a fill. And I'm gonna select this darker purple that I've made here. But you can see it's too saturated, so I'm gonna make it a bit more darker. Cause you want that nice contrast, you know, the neon, the bright neon on a dark background will work best. Um, so you can contrast between the colors and the light. So what I'll do, I'll go to color and I'll go to this little drop down menu right on the four bars and click HSB, which is hue, saturation and brightness. And then what I'm gonna do is just use a mouse wheel and just drop this down, which I'm dropping the brightness down, make it a bit more darker. As you can see there. And you can see we have a lot, that nice tone, like a charcoal, darker purple, as you can see there. So cool, we have like a dark background. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to lock this by pressing Command or Control 2. So that's locked. And what we're gonna do is now pick a font. So I'm gonna just drop a font in here. And you can see I was using Nick Ainley. This is a free font, which is pretty nice. And you can see I'm just gonna type in neon and make it white. And then I'm just gonna scale this up by holding Shift and Alt or option if you're on a Mac, and I'm just gonna drag this up, like that, scale it, cool, and it's looking good. So the cool thing about this effect that we created over here is that it's all live, so I can actually go on here and turn it off if I want to. So you can see it's just grouped, just gonna ungroup it. So if I go select the type, I can just go click on these glows that we've put on here in the appearance panel, and I can just turn them off. So you can see there, it makes it all live. So it's easy, you can editable, and you can still you know, end up changing the type and editing it. So that's one good way of doing it. So I'll just leave that off there. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna open your appearance panel. So you go to window and go down to your appearance at the top here. So we're gonna use this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first select our color we want. So we're gonna pick a red. I'm gonna select the, the text and go to my appearance panel. You can see it's on the right here. And what we're gonna do is press the FX button. And we're gonna to go to stylize. And then from stylize, we're gonna to go to outer glow first. So we're gonna to go to outer glow and we're gonna press preview. And this is gonna show us. Keep in mind that these effects may lag your computer a little bit. So you don't wanna you know, add too many. So you can see there, it's already starting to add this nice glow around the type as you can see there. So we'll probably leave this on 85, uh, 85% opacity and the blur, we'll put it on five. So it's already starting to see like a little bit of a glow there which is nice, press okay. So you can see that it's already starting to have an effect. So what I wanna do, click it, and now we're gonna go to same thing again and we're gonna go to inner glow. So from this, it's gonna add a glow within the sh within the actual type. So I'm gonna press preview. And the cool thing is about this is you've got two options. You've got center and you've got edge. So the center will start from the middle of the type and the edge will be on the outside. So it adds like a nice rim, as you can see there. And it gives this nice 3D effect as well. So what we can do is you click the swatch panel on the right here and you can actually select uh, like a lighter color if you want but I'm gonna use my swatches panel as here and I'm, you can go to color swatches, click on that button and because we already have our colors that we can choose, you can just select one of these. So usually I'll go like a lighter color or even a darker one and you can see what that looks like. And, or you can just use the normal red that we're using. And yeah, that looks good and we'll keep it consistent. You can also play around with these blend, blending modes. So if I go down, you can see overlay, soft light, Hard light works well as well. 
and color dodge is nice and then the rest you can play around you can see all these effects there they all have different effects but usually i play around and, and choose which one i like um hard light is the one that looks nice because it adds that nice like a red tone to it which i want you can also increase the blur and you can see on the rim it's actually going to increase that or you can make it less so you can see that if you just want it like a subtle but i guess we'll leave it on We'll leave it on 4, and then the opacity might bump it up to 70% and then press enter, which is okay. So we're already starting to get that nice effect, as you can see there, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to select the type again, and this time we're going to go to the FX and go to Stylize and make another inner glow. You can just press Apply No Effect, and another cool way you can do it as well, if you press Cancel, you can actually select the inner glow or an effect, and you can actually copy it. So what we can actually do is just drag this in and plus it like that. So you can see just by dragging it on this little document icon, it actually made a copy. So I'm going to drag one of these on top. So this is important. You want to make sure that it's on top of the outer glow. I'm going to select this and go preview. And for this one, I'm going to make it the lighter color. So I'm going to select the swatch, go to my lighter color. Just like that. And I don't know if you can see that, but if I just change... The blending mode for a second should be able to see it so you can see that on the edge of the type there you can see it's adding a nice glow you can also change the center and it'll add it in the middle so depending what you like that kind of looks cool and this looks cool as well so I'll probably drop the blur down I actually want it up because I don't want it to take away too much of the redness so if I tick off preview Sometimes when you take off preview, it doesn't actually get away of the preview, so just be mindful of that as well. I might, we'll drop this by 5%, press OK. So now if I zoom in, you can see there our original red on the rim, and then it's added this nice little tone, little blur in the middle of the section, as you can see there. And it makes a nice little difference, it makes it more 3D looking. And you can see there, it's already starting to look awesome. So cool, we've got, we've got our main effect that we've co completed, and now we can add a bit more effects. So what I'll do, I'll select the type and press Control c Control f to make a copy of it. So what that's going to do is going to make a copy on top, and I want to turn off or delete all these effects. So I'm going to select these by holding Control or Command, select these three in my appearance panel, and then press the bin. So now you can see I've just got this on top. So I'm going to paste it in front by going Object, arrange bring to front and just in case it didn't go forward and what we're going to do now is I'm going to create outlines so go to type of the top left corner and go to create outlines which is down here in the middle so I want to click that and I'm going to press shift x or just drag the color into your stroke and I'm going to get rid of the fill so we've got this color here I'm also going to go to my pathfinder and just go to Unite. So I'm going to Unite this. So now it's just one shape. So you can see there it's just one shape on the stroke we've selected. How it's all connected and joined. See that? Which is what we want. I'm just going to lock the back part. So I'm going to select this. And what I'm going to do, I was going to select this nice little yellow or white, even select a white color. And you can see there that even just makes it a little bit more stand out and pop and what we can do now is go to my stroke panel which is on the left here if you don't know how to open these windows all you do is just go to window you got the stroke panel down here stroke and all your other ones so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bump it up maybe go two points I'm gonna round it off so the corners become rounded you see there it rounds the corners I'm also gonna change the align stroke instead of being on top we want to, you can either go inwards or outwards. We want to go outwards so it doesn't take up too much space of the actual type because then the type won't be as legible as we want it. So that's looking good. I'll go to my transparency panel again up here and I'll play around with these blending modes. Usually normal is fine or screen or even overlay adds a nice little tone. So you can see all that. And then we can even play around with the opacity, drop that down a little bit see what it looks like I think I'm just gonna leave it on screen and leave it like that 
And boom, there you have it. You've got a nice neon type. Just gonna go center this. Awesome. You can also add more effects if you want down the line to even increase it. We can even add another glow. So if I wanna make like a glow in the background, I can just make a circle. So press L for the ellipse tool and then we'll just make the circle like that. And we're gonna go to our gradient panel and I'm just gonna drag this color in here. Just like that, zero opacity. And then I'm gonna change this to a radial. And what I'm going to do is press this little reverse button here. I'm gonna bring this behind, so we want it in the back. So it's behind the type. And we can just drag this a little bit like that. And I'm gonna play around with these blending modes. And see what we can get. So overlay and soft light looks nice. I think overlay looks nice. So it adds that little tint. And the cool thing about this is if you have your edges on, you can see the circle. We can actually play around with this and edit it. So what I'm going to do is just hold Alt Option and just drag this ellipse in and just try and get it around the type. So And I'll drag this out. So holding Alt or Option will keep the proportion straight on either side as you drag it out. As you can see there. And you can also drag the slider in the gradient panel to increase that, as you can see like that. But we just want a subtle glow in the background. Just like that. And there you have it, you got some cool neon type. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Let me know if this was helpful, if it was too slow, too fast, and subscribe for more content every week. I try and put out content every Saturday, a tutorial about Illustrator. So yeah, um, leave a comment, um, hit the like button, and look forward to making some more content for you guys.